Hello my beautiful friends and welcome. Today's video is my three month update on being on estradiol, which is hormone replacement therapy. And I want to say that things are still going well. I am still falling asleep faster than I was before I went on estradiol. I do occasionally have nights where I might be up for a little bit in the middle of the night. It is not nearly as frequent and it is not nearly as long. So before I might have been up for two, three, maybe four hours and now I've had just maybe two, maybe three nights in the last three months where I've been up and it's really just been for an hour or two. So relatively speaking that is so much better. Um, other things, I can't really tell, I think three months is still too early to tell whether the hair loss has mitigated, although I do feel like kind of the male pattern that was starting in these areas is, um, is slowing down. Now, I honestly don't know if that's because of the estradiol or the evening primrose oil. Um, my guess is that it's largely the evening primrose oil with maybe some help from the estradiol. I can't say whether or not estradiol has helped me with weight loss because wine and sugar continue to fall in my face and we're getting to be spring, which means it's gonna be shorts weather here in, honestly, here in Seattle. We still have at least three, probably four more months. Um, but I'm going to get back to serious about my eating habits and um, lose some weight. And I have very good records, so I will know whether being on estradiol helps with that weight loss. I thought it would behoove me to read through all the stuff <laughs> that you get in your prescriptions. And the thing that stuck out to me was this list of possible side effects. Now, I'm not going to read you the entire list, just some highlights. Things like constipation, nausea, um, influenza, sinusitis, back pain, neck pain, headache, sinus headache, anxiety, depression, breast tenderness, intermenstrual bleeding, sinus congestion, hot flashes, hypertension. So that's just kind of a hip rate of some of the things. And then they tell you the frequency that those things happen. And of course, they're quite low. Um, everything was reported at a frequency of less than 5%, and most of them considerably less than 5%. But reading through those, there is one that I went, oh, yeah, I am experiencing that. And that would be breast tenderness. And I, I can't really figure out exactly what. I will say that it's started in the last month and um, not bad, but the girls, some days the girls just are, um, they feel, what, swollen and not very happy. And then sometimes in the shower, if the stream of water hits just right on my nipples, oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. So um, given the benefits that I'm getting, uh, I just turned my body or turned the shower down a wee bit. And, um, and honestly, I don't know if the whole issue with the girls being big is because I have put on um, I put on 10 pounds in the last like six weeks. So that could also be contributing to that. So like I said, I'm going to get my eating under control. And the next time I report back to you, hopefully I will have a better handle on how much of that 
I think is from the estriol and how much is just me not eating well. But I realized um, last time that I said I'd had a two, I think, that came off early. And I wanted to um, talk to you a little bit about that because I think I've got it figured out. So in the box, you get eight of these little packets and you rip them open and then the patch is in there. And I didn't show you it last time, but that's what the patch looks like. And it just peels off kind of like a Band-Aid and you stick it on. And I replace my patches on Friday nights and Tuesday mornings. So Tuesday morning, I do it when I get out of the shower. So my skin is clean and I get dried off and that's fine. What I've started doing Friday night is just taking a cotton ball and some rubbing alcohol and clearing the spot where I'm going to adhere it, letting it dry for like 30 seconds or so, and then applying the patch. And I alternate sides. Um, I do it on my derriere, lots of fat back there. And I alternate sides every time. So like Tuesdays is always one side and Fridays is always the other side. And since I've done that, I haven't had any issues with, um, with a patch coming off. So that's good news. And let me just check my notes real quick here. Nope, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover for this update. I do go see my doctor in a couple of weeks. And as I mentioned before, um, she wants me to get a bone density test. So I'm hoping that she's gotten the um, approval from my insurance company and I can go ahead and get that so I can report back to you on that bit of data. Um, at the end of this video, I'm gonna link parts one and two of this hormone replacement series. If you haven't seen those, please, please, please go watch those. Let me know down below if you've got any questions, if you're on HRT or if you're thinking about it or if you're not on it, why you're not. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me and have a really fantastic day.